drone footage revealed that construction on Saudi Arabia's The Line actually started. The project has been heavily debated in recent months, and most said that it's too gigantic to build and rather looks like something out of a science fiction movie. But now that construction has actually begun, how will this turn out? Could this be the beginning of the world's greatest mega project ever? Or will the line become a trillion dollar construction mistake that will eventually be abandoned? Let's find out. Saudi Arabia, renowned for its vast deserts and oil reserves, is undergoing a transformative shift with the Saudi Vision 2030 plan. At the forefront of this vision stands The Line, a groundbreaking smart city. At a staggering 170 kilometers long and 500 meters long this ambitious project aims to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy and reduce its dependence on oil revenues. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman envisions a city that integrates cutting-edge technology, renewable energy, and modern urban planning to elevate sectors such as healthcare, education, infrastructure, tourism, and non-oil exports. At the heart of the line's design lies its iconic elevated structure, 500 meters tall and adorned with mirrors on the exterior to reflect sunlight for harnessing solar energy. Inside, lush green spaces and modern technology create an oasis of sustainable living. Multi-level living areas and pedestrian-friendly pathways enable residents to access all amenities within a five-minute walk. The city's efficient high-speed transport system offers a quick 20-minute journey from one end to the other, redefining the concept of urban connectivity. The line is designed to be a zero-carbon city, powered entirely by renewable energy. The city will be home to a variety of sustainable features, including solar panels, wind turbines, and rainwater harvesting systems. The line will also be a car-free city, with residents and visitors getting around on foot, bicycles, or public transportation. Wait, will it really build in the future? It is possible that the project will be completed, but it is also possible that it will be suspended or cancelled. There are a number of challenges and problems that need to be addressed before the line can be completed. First are the challenges and problems enormous cost, the project is estimated to cost $1 trillion, which is a significant financial burden for Saudi Arabia. The source of the project is Saudi Arabian oil, but the fund is estimated to hold $620 billion worth of money. Therefore, the project requires $380 billion in additional funding. The Saudi Arabian government has been trying to attract foreign investors to fill the financing gap, but so far, these efforts have been unsuccessful. So the funding challenge of the project could be one of the challenges. The second challenge and problem is technological feasibility. If a project like Line were to be built in reality, there would be a lot of technology used that doesn't exist in reality. That means transportation will be provided by a high-speed maglev system with a top speed of 500 km per hour. This 170 km line takes just 20 minutes to reach from one end to the other. But at present it is not possible to form the tension of its speed. Moreover, the project mentions technologies that are not currently available. The third challenge and problem is urban design, one of the biggest challenges posed by the line's design is the potential for bottlenecks. If there is a problem anywhere along the 170-kilometer corridor, it could disrupt traffic throughout the entire city. This could have a significant impact on the economy and the quality of life for residents. Another challenge posed by the line's design is the potential for disruptions. If there is a natural disaster or other event that damages the transportation network, it could isolate parts of the city and make it difficult for people to get around. This could have a serious impact on the city's ability to function. A fourth challenge and issue is environmental impact, the line could have a significant environmental impact, depending on how it is designed and implemented. Moreover, if a 170 km line is built through it, it will disrupt the habitat and movement of animals. The line project in Saudi Arabia represents an ambitious vision for a sustainable, smart city of the future. However, there are significant challenges that must be addressed before the line can be a success. These challenges include cost, technology, and urban design. The cost of the project is estimated to be $500 billion, and the technology to create a sustainable city of this scale is not yet fully developed. Additionally, the urban design of the line must be carefully considered to ensure that it is both efficient and livable. If Saudi Arabia can navigate these challenges, the line could be a model for sustainable cities of the future. The city would provide a blueprint for how to build a city that is both environmentally friendly and economically prosperous.
As we continue to share insights into the world of construction, mega projects, and historical developments, we appreciate your valuable feedback. Join our community and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.